The six months probation, you got to work all six months before you take a day late or take a day off. Now it's even worse. It's 13 months probation, you know, in some places like that. Do the next one, please. Like I said, you got to draft the message, determine what the issues are that are important to the voters. You know, in the whole, and then you have to do issues as it relates to, to uh, your targeted groups and all that. Sometimes, you know, uh, unions, you got to see what their issues is. When you're talking about public employees, and, um, and some people put police in there, but see, they don't, they, they don't get the same consideration as police. See, they'll put it under po public safety, and they'll give them more money, but that uh, s school bus driver, they're not gonna give them a raise, and you're gonna say, how are you gonna help them? You have to tell them about that, you know, relate. I have seen people come to interviews, and they don't even like the other candidate, the union, but uh, the candidate who's looked like he could get the, he, he's not, uh, up, up, up to snuff on the issues as it relates to the unions. You have to be able to do that. And you'd be surprised. You got union members all around you, you know, that can help you. And it's just not that group. Any group, before you go, you got to be able to do your homework, what they're about, what their issues are. And number G is targeting. You know, that, like I said, that's the most important. You have to identify, targeting is basically is prioritizing your precincts. You have high support precincts and low support precincts. Low support precincts is those precincts between 55 and 80% for you. High support is 80 and above. Wherever you go, you can get that vote. One of the problems maybe is maybe low turnout or low registration. And low support precincts, what you basically have to do is identify those people in those precincts that support you. In the case of high support, you, you can put a sound truck all through the neighborhood there. You know they're going to vote for you. Low support precincts, you can't do that because you're going to excite people that is against you. You know what I mean? Then you gotta un understand what's the problem. Now let me tell you uh, something that, um, and, 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 and it's a judgment call. You can look at, if I was coming here in, 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 in St. Uh, Petersburg, and I looked at the election result, the first thing I would do is prioritize the precincts as, as a support for Obama. And what that gives you is, if you, if you look at those numbers, you'll see where you got 90% all the way down to 55. And that's the way, because if it's 90% or better, that's African American. You know what I mean? In the case, and, and you might have, I'm not saying 90% outside of the six, but you might have some 80 to 85% in other parts of the city. And that's the way you look at far as planning your whole campaign and making sure they get out. You know, I'm talking about for Jesse, now in the primary, and then when the sister win the primary, that's the way she would look at to turn those people out. I mean, because you, you know, you'll be wasting your time to try to go everywhere in the city. You know what I mean? But I, I, I like I said, the targeting, and, and when you and you look in your chart, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. It shows you how you find out to get turnout. Turnout is basically. Um, how many people of the registered voters turned out to vote? That's all it basically is. And you'll find you have low turnout. Now, I know the guy on the, on the, 
on the, on the phone, I mean, on the, this morning on site, site, he talked about Ferguson. And the report was that some places that only 1% turned out. You know what I mean? 1%. And when you talk about school board elections, and, and uh, you're talking about a lower turnout, sometimes you're talking about 10%, even though that's important. The school systems, like he said, they, they in, in capital improvement, everything, they got big budgets. I don't care where it's at, it's big money. When they build a school, that's at least a 50 to 100 million dollars. You know what I mean? But you have to look at those numbers and, and go from there. Go to the next one, please. That's just basically going, go to the next one, please. And what this talk about here, if you get endorsements from a union or some other woman organizations, if they don't, most of them may not give you their list, but they can do a mailing for you. You know what I mean? They, they can mail to their membership to tell them that you support, that they support you. You know what I mean? And that's free. You know what I mean? They can go to their work sites and things like that. Next. What, what, we, what we do when we do targeting, you look at past results for those elections that were held that you're running for in past years. You can do the, past, the, the, the last two. Let, let me get back to what I was telling you about the guy Fenty. He had won against a lady. He was a city councilman, and she was the chairman. He beat her, and she ran a bad campaign. After he, he won, um, unions and people said, we got to get rid of this guy. Now, mind you, they said he had $7 million. We picked the chairman, and what we did, when we did the targeting, and out of 120 precincts, we found that the chairman, when he ran, he received more votes than the mayor when in his reign, even though they were different races. In 74 precincts, he got more votes. We said, aha. And the deal was the turnout wasn't that high. The, the Post and the papers tried to make it was this big turnout. What we basically did is um, we said, we're going to do operations in those precincts with Gray, because he ended up running for mayor. He had $2 million. And like I told you, Fenty had $7 million. Fenty lost bad. I, I should have bought a sign. We had a sign that said, basically, buy. And, and don't feel sorry for him. Please don't. You know what? Guess who his girlfriend is? Steve Jobs' wife. <laughs> so don't feel bad for him. You know what I mean. But, but the deal is, that goes one point about the money. They were so upset that they investigated the, 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 the chairman who won, and he lost re-election because the U.S. attorney did the same thing that they did to Hillary Clinton a week before the, pro, uh, for the election. They basically indicted him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Even though to this day they never found that he did anything. You know what I mean? But I say that, that when you look at money, go back to money again, it doesn't take, if you have your operation, your organization in place, you can win. Another, another seat in Washington, D.C., Marion DeBerry died. They had a special election for his seat. The lady who won, she won by 50 votes. She spent $374,000 to the, his, her opponent who want, he spent $15,000. This is no lie, this is a true story. But it was the year 
it was a special election, so she only served a year, and she was supportive of the new mayor. This young boy, 26 years old, he had much more money. He made got 20,000, and I think it was just it, it, what you said. It was like him. Election day, he had maybe had two people at the polls. They had 20. They had 10 campaign workers. The unions had another 10 at the polling place. This, this is a true story. At each polling place, they had so much money that she was paying people. She still lost. Now, like, like Charles said, this little boy, he's a little short guy, but we call him the Energized Bunny. He didn't have the, he didn't bag the best campaign organization, but this boy could knock on every door. I mean, he beat this, they, they still don't know why, how he won. He beat this girl, not by no 50 votes, at least two, 3,000. He, 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 so, so the money does make the difference because some people know. You'd be surprised the people walking the street who know that the elected officials ain't doing nothing. That's why, I, 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 what I didn't tell you, I live in a Democratic state with a Republican governor. And a black guy ran against him and lost. Maryland, you know, they went overwhelming all the time for Obama first time. But we got a Republican governor because the Democrats wasn't doing nothing. And the guy who was, he's now in Congress, that's a whole nother story. But he was user friendly. He never went to the black churches. People stayed at home. And people know when somebody's not doing something for them. You know, God was asking me about Marion Byrd. Marion, people don't understand, I tell people this. Marion Byrd, when he stopped to do SNCC, he was working on a doctorate in chemistry. I don't know a Negro a friend of mine that got a chemistry degree from, uh, from college, regular college. He would quit, uh, you know, this, this wasn't no dummy. You know what I mean? But he also had Pride Incorporated. Pride was basically an organization where you hire these brothers and they clean up the neighborhood. You know what I mean? And people said, why did, but he gave everybody jobs. You know what I mean? This, let me tell you something else people don't know. You know BET, Robert Johnson? You know where he got that idea? He used to be a staff person for Walter Fontroy. He, he formulated that in Walter Fontroy's office. A billionaire and then Walter Fontroy, he's over to buy hiding because he owes somebody money. Think about that now. You got a billionaire that you, that you help make a billionaire and you got money problems. But anyway, we're going to go on. Um, but what, what I try to do, and you can read this later, it basically show how you put together your precincts and, 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 and find out where the top priority precincts you're gonna work in, you know what I mean? Um, and like I told the chairman, if, if, if you all need my help in any of that, give me a call, because that's basically what I did for uh, Diop, you know what I mean? But you can do it if you have people that are good with numbers. You know what I mean? It's explaining in the chart all that. You know what I mean? Now, now what I was going to go down to the next one on the, ch on, the, on the program is get out the vote. It's a method to that madness. It's a method to that madness. You know, I'm going to start on the way back. In this office, if it's election day, you got to have a control center chart. That control center chart basically have all your precincts targeted, registered vote. Go all the way to the end. I think I got it on there. Go all the way to the end for me. Uh, did I put it on there? There you go. It's kind of messed up. But if you look at it, those are the precincts. The next column is the registered voters for that precincts. If you got poll workers, you got a seven o'clock check-in. You got to make sure somebody in there to make sure them polls open on time is no problem. They got to check in. You know what I mean? Then 10 o'clock, they start giving you the count. 
What this chart does, it can tell you how the vote's going better than the press or anybody else. Because it's going to tell you, say, it's a percentage. So if, if 240 people vote at 10 o'clock, you know 10% of the people done voted. You know what I mean? Then what you do at the end of that 10 o'clock, you look at all your precincts. And what you do, because they're high support precincts in some places, you want to send sound in. And on election day, you got what I call a flying squad. You know what I mean? A flying squad starts 7 in the morning, too. What they're basically doing, if you have the money, you don't have to be a door hanger, but they're putting flies on people's door. You know, when you talk about high support precincts where people may not be working or something, you put them out there, you put the flying squad. Then when at 10 o'clock you go back and say, what precincts are down or low? You have them go back out there, but also you have your phone bank calling into there. You know what I mean? And so you do, you can repeat that every, I got it every hour. You can do it every two hours. And that's what you have on the wall, because you got to know where you're going as far as that. Now, in your low support precincts, you have people basically with a list. You know what I mean? Um, at, the, at, at the election, uh, at, the, at the polling place. And what they be, can be able to do in some cases, in some cities, some cities you can't do this. You can see, uh, ask the person their name and see if they voted or not. And you can check their names off and stuff. You know what I mean? In some place, not every place, you know. Some places you got election people, they ain't gonna let you do nothing. They ain't gonna let you get, I mean, you, you 10 feet away and they say you ain't and make you go back on the street. You know what I mean? Because sometimes sometime you might have to take a tape measure, you know what I mean, with you. But what you basically do um, when, on election day, you also have drivers. You have drivers, not for, because the, that weekend before, uh, starting at